Today's movie is Rent-A-Pal, which is a horror thriller that feels like it should be starring Joaquin Phoenix, since it's pretty much a mixture of his films Her and that one movie that predicted 2020. In this movie, which takes place in the early 90s, a lonely man in his 40s named David is stuck taking care of his dementia-ridden mother after his father's suicide. Since she needs 24-7 care and he's socially awkward, his only contact with the outside world is through a video dating service, which has yet to produce any meaningful results. Frustrated, he blind buys a friendship simulator tape called Title of Film and watches it. A friendly Will Wheaton in a Mr. Rogers sweater appears on the screen and talks to him, asking him questions about his life and telling personal stories. And at first, David is weirded out by the tape, but over time, as he watches it over and over, he develops a disturbing friendship with the man on the screen, a friendship that leads to some psychotic behavior in the real world. I'll be giving minor spoilers in this review, so if you want to see the film, you might want to watch it and come back. Alright, here we go. I feel the same way about this movie that I felt about that movie Vivarium, which came out earlier this year. In that movie, Jesse Eisenberg and Imogen Poots play a couple who are trapped in a phony recreation of a human suburb and forced to raise an alien child. I thought it was a clever idea for a 45-minute TV episode or a horror anthology segment or something like that. But there wasn't enough material for a feature-length film. rent a at nearly two hours long started trying my patience early on. The movie moves very slowly and starts repeating itself. As it goes along, we start realizing that this premise is kind of dumb and doesn't work. David is certainly an awkward weirdo, but I didn't believe that he was mentally unstable enough to form this type of relationship with the Will Wheaton tape. In fact, midway through the film, when he finally goes on a date with a real woman, I was expecting him to throw the tape away since he no longer needed it. He had found a real human connection outside of his mother. If the date went horribly, and it was the last straw in a long line of abuse, I might believe that he might finally snap and let Wheaton take over his life. But no, things really start to look up for him at the halfway point. He's getting his mother under control, he found a lady who likes him. The only logical conclusion that seems consistent with the characters is a happy one. But since this is a horror movie, we need some violence. So David just loses his grip on reality and lets the tape take over his life becoming a full-on villain. I didn't buy it. It wasn't consistent with what we saw earlier in the film. Despite this, there were some things I liked about rent pal The acting was very good. Brian Falkins is a fine leading man. Will Wheaton was creepy as the man in the video. And Kathleen Brady, the woman who plays David's mother, was great as our replacement for Anne Ramsey. I liked the atmosphere of the film and how it made retro VHS technology scary and used the basement setting to create an almost prison-like feeling of isolation. But when your premise just doesn't work as a feature and your characters aren't consistent, then your movie just feels hollow and I'll give rent a a 5 out of 10.